in this video we will discuss two examples in which we will find the locus of points in the plane satisfying given conditions first one is mod of z plus 3 plus mod of z plus 1 equal to 4 firstly we will put z equal to x plus iota y and we get mod of x plus iota y plus 3 plus mod of x plus iota y plus 1 equal to 4. Now we will rearrange it and write it as mod of x plus 3 plus iota y plus mod of x plus 1 plus iota y equal to 4. Now we will take mod of these two terms and we get mod of x plus 3 plus iota y will be equal to square root square of real part that is x plus 3 square plus square of imaginary part that is y square plus mod of x plus 1 plus iota y will be equal to square root more in the square of real part that is x plus 1 square plus square of imaginary part that is y square equal to 4. Now transferring this term on the other side of equality we get square root x plus 3 whole square plus y square equal to 4 minus square root x plus 1 square plus y square now taking square square on both sides we get x plus 3 whole square plus y square equal to 4 minus square root x plus 1 square plus y square whole square. x plus 3 whole square is equal to x square plus 9 plus 6x and y square is equal to y square equal to now we will take the square of this term and it will be equal to 16 plus x plus 1 whole square plus y square minus 8 square root x plus 1 whole square plus y square now we can also write it as x square plus y square plus 6x plus 9 equal to 16 plus x square plus 1 plus 2x this is the square of x plus 1 whole square plus y square minus 8 square root x plus 1 square plus y square we can rewrite it as x square plus y square plus 6x plus 9 now transferring these terms on the this side of equation we get minus 16 minus x square minus 1 minus 2x minus y square equal to minus 8 square root x plus 1 whole square plus y square this x square will be cancelled out by minus x square plus y square will be cancelled out by minus y square 6x minus 2x is equal to 4x and 9 minus 16 minus 1 is equal to minus 8. 
which is equal to minus 8 times square root x plus 1 square plus y square. Now dividing this equation with 4, we get dividing both sides by 4, we get x minus 4, x minus 2 equal to minus 2 square root x plus 1 square plus y square. Now taking square on both sides, we get x minus 2 whole square equal to minus 2 square root x plus 1 square plus y square whole square and it will be equal to x minus 2 whole square is equal to x square minus 4x plus 4 and it is equal to 4 x plus 1 square plus y square we can rewrite it as x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to 4 times x square plus 2x plus 1 plus y square which can be written as x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to 4x square plus 8x plus 8 plus 4 plus 4y square. Now transferring all of these terms to the left hand side of this equation we get x square minus 4x plus 4 minus 4x square minus 8x minus 4 minus 4y square equal to 0. This 4 will be cancelled out by minus 4 and we are left with x square minus 4x square is equal to minus 3x square and minus 4x minus 8x is equal to minus 12x minus 4y square equal to 0. Now multiplying this equation by minus 1 we get 3x square plus 12x plus 4y square equal to 0. So, locus of the points satisfying given condition mod of z plus 3 plus mod of z plus 1 equal to 4 is 3x square plus 12x plus 4y square equal to 0. Second example is minus 1 is less than equal to real part of z less than 1. So, firstly we will put z is equal to x plus iota y and we get minus 1 is less than equal to real part of x plus iota y less than 1. We know that real part of x plus iota y is x so we can write it as minus 1 is less than equal to x is less than 1. So locus of point satisfying given condition minus 1 less than equal to real part of z less than 1 is minus 1 less than equal to x less than 1 or half open half close interval minus 1 1 such that x belong to this interval.